All right, here we go. All right. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Do your videos kind of look like this? Or do you watch videos that look like this? Right now, many people are relying on the internet, and more specifically, videos on the internet, to bring content to their fans, or their mom on Facebook. The problem I'm seeing is that a lot of people don't take the time to get the best quality footage possible, and it ends up looking unprofessional and unappealing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn uh, this into this. Not bad. Now, before we go any further, I am not a professional videographer and I do not claim to be. I just enjoy making videos for my YouTube channel and I wanna deliver the highest quality content possible. So this video is just about the visual aspect of filming on your phone and I'm not gonna cover audio. By the way, everything in this video is being filmed on my phone, which is an iPhone 8. The tips I'm gonna give you in this video are not the only things you can do, but if you do them, your videos will become drastically better. <laughs> Vertical video sucks. <laughs> Grow up, fill up the screen, and shoot in landscape, not portrait. Tip number two. It took me a while to realize this, but if you have things in the background that could possibly distract people and take their attention off of you, they're gonna get distracted while watching the video. Clean up the entire space of the shot that you'll be filming. It'll really help keep focus on the subject and it'll just look better. Tip number three. No one likes looking up at your double chin and right up your nostrils. Hey guys. Put the height of the phone at roughly eye level and make sure it's not tilted from left to right. This one might be the most critical for the overall look of the video, and there's many different ways you can go about it. A lot of it is personal preference. If you want a really bright look, make sure to have multiple bright white light sources at different angles to cover up all the shadows. And by the way, the lights in person are gonna seem a lot brighter than they do through the video, so that's something you're gonna have to get used to. If you want a bit darker, more dramatic look, like I do, you can go with one single key light and then some background lights if you want. I use a nice soft box, but you can just take any lamp and point it at you. Just make sure it's coming at you at roughly a 45 degree angle, pointing slightly downwards. For background lights, I got these cheap little LEDs off Amazon and I think they look pretty cool. Plus, you can use this remote and change the colors. There's a lot more I can get into about lighting, but I want to keep this pretty simple and straightforward, so let's move on. You can use the internal camera app and get pretty decent results. It's got pretty solid autofocus and auto exposure. As long as you're aiming in the right direction, you're pretty much going to be in focus. By the way, always use the main rear camera on the phone. Don't use the front selfie camera. It usually shoots at a lower resolution and just generally doesn't look as good. Go in your settings and make sure you're filming in at least 1080p. I like 4K, but 1080 works just fine. If you wanna go a little deeper with the camera settings and have a little more control, I suggest picking up the app called Filmic Pro. I believe it's around 15 or 20 bucks, but if you wanna make your videos better, it is well worth it. You can manually control resolution, frame rate, shutter speed, focus, white balance, and more. Once I started getting serious about my videos on this channel, I used that app a whole bunch before getting my current camera, and it worked out really, really well for me. Bonus tip, editing. How something looks when you film it is one thing, but you can do a whole lot in post-production to make it look even better. Now, I use Final Cut Pro for all of my video editing, but really any editing software can get you there. By the way, if you do have a Mac, Final Cut Pro is doing a 90-day free trial right now. There's no excuse not to try it. I'm not gonna get into the specifics of my video editing, that's a whole video itself, but the basics are color correction, color grading, effects, transitions, titles, adjusting the crop and tilt, and more. This really enhances the look of the videos and brings them to the next level. The idea is for people to just enjoy the video and not realize I'm filming with my phone and it's just been propped up on a music stand this whole time. I hope these tips have helped you and you put some of them into practice. I learned by watching tons of videos and then creating video after video, trying to make each one better than the last. I'm still learning with each video I do, and I just want everyone to be able to produce the best quality content they can. If you have any questions or comments about these tips, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have some other tips for filming great phone videos, please let me know, I'd love to hear from you. Before I go, I'd like to give a big shout out to all my supporters on Patreon. They really enjoy what I'm doing here enough to directly support the channel. With being a patron, they gain access to Patreon-only videos, polls, 
PDFs, high quality audio files, and more. Please check out my page using the link in the description and consider becoming a supporter. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.